Welcome to Finish Strong, Start Fresh, a Colorado Christian University video series that is meant to encourage you to finish this year strong and start fresh in 2021. My name is Jeff Augustine, and I'm a pastor and an affiliate faculty with the School of Biblical and Theological Studies with CCU Online. Over the next few weeks, you will hear from several pastors from different CCU partner organizations and churches. We will explore God's word for insights and encouragement as we get ready to close the books for 2020 and start anew in 2021. As a former youth pastor and a father of three teenagers, I've spent a lot of intense times behind the passenger seat, hoping that I would get another day of life on this planet. Most new drivers look and react to what is directly in front of the car. Aiming high in steering means don't make your steering adjustments based on what is directly in front of you. Instead, look way down the road and as far into the turn as possible. Even though this current season is challenging, we need to look ahead and aim our eyes heavenward instead of focusing on what is directly in front of us currently. To get some fresh perspective, let's take a look at Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 4, and then verse 11. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. The totality of life is captured in these verses with its parallel series of related opposites. Each pair forms a mirrorism, a figure of speech in which two polarities make up a whole. Together, birth and death comprise the whole of human existence, Weeping and laughing summarize the full range of human emotion, and so on. The Greek translation of the Old Testament, known as the Septuagint, uses the term kairos, which means time viewed as an opportunity, an opportune moment. But this passage, rather than the term chronos, which means time considered as duration. We are reminded in these verses that God controls the times and seasons of life. Our focus and attention as we close out 2020 and prepare for 2021 should be on God and the opportunities, the kairos moments. Usually people think of the actions you see in these um, passages in Ecclesiastes are things that people do, in which they are. But the activities listed are also things that God does. The verbs in Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8 are divine actions before they become human activities. If your goal and desire is to learn and grow and focus on God these remaining weeks of 2020, I wanted to make three practical suggestions for your consideration from the biblical passage we just read. Number one, we need to remember that this is a season, not a permanent state. Years ago, a pastor challenged me with a poem called Healthy Things Grow. Healthy things grow. Growing things change. Change challenges us. Challenge forces us to trust God. Trust leads to obedience. Obedience makes us healthy, and then healthy things grow. And so we get caught in this cycle, but if we're aware of it, it really does encourage us and help us grow closer to God. God does not hurry in his development of our Christian life because he is working from and for eternity. I pray that we make the most of these challenging times and that we allow God to develop and grow us. Number two, we need to remember that these Kairos times are opportunities for all of us to grow. I recently found out that the growth of, in a tree is not a uniform process. In just a few weeks during the summer, there is rapid growth as woody fiber is deposited between the bark and the trunk. Then the rest of the year, the tree works on solidification for all the growth that it received during the summer. I think the same thing happens with growth in the Christian life. Ecclesiastes 3.1 reminds us again that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. There are seasons of rapid growth and then seasons of solidification. And I believe right now we're all in a season of rapid growth. If we turn our hearts to God, the Holy Spirit will grow and mature us for current and future ministry and life opportunities. And then finally, number three, we need to remember that God is the God over time and eternity. He has made everything beautiful in its time. To put it very simply, God does everything at just the right time. So as we finish this year and prepare for the next year, let's aim high in our thoughts and responses and agree with David in Psalm 31, 
14 to 15. But I trust in you, Lord. My times are in your hands. Whatever season you are in, turn your heart to God and trust him. And finally, ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom. And we can all pray Psalm 90, verse 12. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. My name is Jeff Augustine, and this has been Finish Strong, Start Fresh. And we will see you next week. Thank you.